Morning World. We are here to bring you once again the latest updates in and around the IBEX global community. My name is Jimena Mora, your anchor, and here it is my co-anchor, Kumal Shakil. Good morning, folks, and welcome to another episode of Nexted IBEX. Here are our top stories. IBEX announces its entry into Honduras. Jamaica opens six IBEX sites in the country. IBEX Marcella in Bohol adds an entire floor. Brand new car and more. Nicaragua announces big year-end raffle. Pakistan introduces quarterly one award. And later in the show, we will bring you two amazing feature stories of achievement and inspiration by your employees. IBEX Pittsburgh's relaunch. Exclusive interview with Jason Bow. IBEX Cares and Gugma Takbilaran helps 100 tricycle drivers. Nicaragua video reaches 2.1 million views and 18,000 followers. IBEX Deveo partners with LGU BPO80 to vaccinate employees. Nicaragua kicks off a new great place to work survey. IBEX Pakistan cricket team, the IBEX Knight, won a thriller by five rounds. US kicks off monthly CM awards for every site. During Meets wins IBEX CEO award. Diving into our top stories next at IBEX. IBEX announces its entry into Honduras. IBEX opened a new customer experience delivery center in the heart of Tegucigalpa. The company is expected to hire more than 400 people in the next month to open and operate the new Honduras Center. We plan to grow the facilities and its employees base to over 2,000 employees in the next two years. Total annual salaries for new IBEX employee operating the center are expected to be approximately 3 million during the first 12 months. The new facility, located in the Nova Centro Mall at Centro Comercial Los Proceres, entre Boulevard Morazán y Avenida La Paz, is scheduled to open in November of this year. More news about expansion, Jamaica opens six sites in the country. Hi guys, my name is Lato Veri, the engagement coordinator for IBEX Campus in Jamaica. On September 6, Jamaica opened its sixth IBEX facility. Located in Kingston, the new site is strategically positioned to target a high-traffic candidate radius perfect for boosting recruitment. Jamaica's new site is called IBEX Grand. It boasts a modern industrial architectural design within a prominent corporate hub in the city. The facility is 800 square feet and can occupy 1,000 seats post-COVID. IBEX Grand is led by its site director, Kimberly Dwyer, who is also at the helm of its sister location, IBEX New Kingston. For next at IBEX in Jamaica, this is Leto Berry. Still on expansion news, IBEX Marcella in Bobol adds an entire floor. On September 21st, IBEX officially took over an additional workspace in its Marcella site in the second floor of its building, Plaza Marcella. It has two production floors with a seat capacity of 673. The new extension site serves a breakfast buffet and houses a billiard hall for recreation. This additional expansion is brought about Ibex Boho's continuous string of success as we launch one of our prime retail campaigns with a projected count of over 1,000 employees before the end of the year. The Boho team was also named best in pass for the same account and for its logistics account based on their CSAT and quality scores. And aside from Boho, Ibex Philippine sites have been consistent in delivering optimal results as reflected with numerous campaign launches in Alabang, Paranaque, so City and Shaw. The IBEX PH teams have consistently been ranked top in vendor boards as best service provider despite the ongoing pandemic. The IBEX team continue to excel and go above and beyond to bring quality service to all clients and customers. For next at IBEX in the Philippines, this is Stephen Yuloyo. Back to you. In more news, brand new car and more, Nicaragua announces big year in raffle. I think Nicaragua is ending the year with a big raffle. For the second time in a row, we are ending now a brand new Kia Picanto 2020. But that's not all. Four more cycles will be given away for our lucky employees. Many electrodomestic appliances are also up for grabs in these raffles. I bet Nicaragua employees are entitled to a ticket if they are hired from September 1st 
to November 30th of this year. Active employees whose referrals are higher will get three tickets for this raffle. The team is fully excited because it's going to be a blast by the end of the year. For next, at IBEX Nicaragua, this is Camilo Navas Corea reporting. In recognition related news, US kicks off monthly CMA awards for every site. To hear more on this story, let's hear from our next at IBEX correspondent in the US, Nicole Colney. Nicole? The CMA Awards has recognized amazing performance from each site on an agent and non-agent level. CMA winners receive a $100 paycheck bonus, as well as appreciation for all of their hard work. We kicked off in September, and here are our winners. Congratulations, folks. We look forward to the next batch of winners next month for October. For Next at IBEX in the USA, this is Nicole Cotney. Thank you, Nicole, for that update. Still on CMA News, in IBEX Jamaica, where they also award a monthly CMA, Lavina Marshall was recognized as September's CMA awardee. Lavina joined IBEX four years ago as a team manager, working her way to become a senior operations manager. In 2019, she was part of the VIP Gala, and on the same year, she won numerous prestigious awards for the LOB. Lavina is a consistent top performer known for always meeting her target at sales. Congratulations on this amazing award, Lavina Marshall. Still in recognition-related news, Pakistan announces quarterly one awards. For more of this story, we have our next at IBEX corresponding, Michelle Quresh. This September, IBEX Pakistan launched the biggest quarterly recognition program across the country, the Quarterly One Awards. The best performing employees are nominated by their managers across all Pakistan sites. The team presented the awards to winners through both virtual and on-site ceremonies. Senior management presented the awards along with some exclusive giveaways. Here are some of our employees' testimonials. I will do hard work for my company and for myself. Kudos to the HR team for recognizing me. Thank you for our company for appreciating us. Thank you so much, Alex, for everything. The event was followed by a high team. The event was participated by all the departments, including operations, shared services, management, and the support staff. This is the significance of quarterly one awards on how it brings us all together. For next at IBEX in Pakistan, this is speaker correspondent Shah Quresh. Larry Mix wins IBEX CEO award. For next on the story, we have our U.S. correspondent for next at IBEX, Nicole Conley. Nicole. Congratulations on the CEO award. Let's talk about how it feels to be a CEO awardee. I mean, it feels incredible. There are so many people that deserve this award with all of the hard work and the growth of IBEX, especially during the past couple of years. It's pretty amazing to work in an organization who's building a culture of reward and recognition the way IBEX is. And I just feel really blessed to be here and super excited that I won this award. Me too. Me too. Let's talk about Lori. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do here at IBEX. So I live in Rochester, New York, and I'm married with two boys. I started my career in insurance and was there for 15 years. And then uh, I made the change to BPO in 2010 as a recruiter for insurance, healthcare, and mortgage to support that company's merger and acquisition. I continued to grow at that company, got promoted until I was the global leader. And then in 2018, I joined IBEX and I'm the global leader of talent acquisition today. Let's talk about leadership principles that you follow that ensure that you reach success. Being in my position, I'm only as successful as my team. Building strong teams is what got me to where I am today. Building teams that are driven to win, teams that see the big picture of how their decisions affect our new employees and our new employees' life, as well as the company. My guiding principles really are trust and confidence, and communication. Making database decisions provides the team with an understanding of what they need to do to accomplish their goal and gives them confidence. And we've proven that. You know, the other thing is driving a culture of open communication 
that allows the team to feel comfortable to escalate when things aren't going well so that we can work swiftly to solve. Knowing that they can ask for help without any negative consequences promotes collaboration within the team and ultimately the best solution. Let's talk about when you got the news that you won the CEO award. Where were you? Were you surprised? What was going on in your mind when you heard the news? So I was at home and on the town hall, it was just such an honor. And I was super surprised. I was sitting there, you know, listening to the meeting. When I heard Bob say she came from Sutherland, I started to see my name in the chat box popping up. And then I just started crying. And I didn't see the rest of the slide or hear anything else. So, um. <laughs> so you went into the town hall not knowing anything, no hinting, no nothing. You no. found out live with every single other person on that meeting that you were the winner. I've worked with you a long time, Nick. And, and you know, I just, if my team is happy, I am happy. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's just part of my leadership style is to promote them. I actually got it. I can show you guys. Oh, cool. So let's see it. I've never seen one in person. Well, this is not really in person, but kind of. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Is so pretty? Yes. And you already have it, like, in hand. That's really cool. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. For that was very cool. Yeah. And so, I got this cool shirt. Oh, nice. Shameless plug. If you can get a crew neck sweatshirt, one of those off the Ibex store. Hands down, one of my favorite pieces of Ibex swag that I own. It's so comfortable, so soft. I just wear it all the time. I think it's the first time someone from Talent Acquisition has won the CEO award, right? Yeah, very infrequent that uh, support has won it. So it speaks to a lot of the, the hard work between you and your team and everything that you guys have accomplished in the last little bit. So... That's exciting. Yeah. And it also speaks to the partnership between the different departments. What we've been able to accomplish has just been amazing. So what's next for Lori and the talent acquisition team? So as we continue to grow, I want to dive more into new markets as well as continue to implement processes to make it easier to find and retain that talent at IBEX. I just want to reiterate that Although my name is on the award, this truly is a team win. The drive and motivation that my team brings every day is what makes our IBEX recruiting team so special. I'm so proud to work with each and every one of this team. I just can't wait to see what we do next. There's nothing we can't do. Unstoppable. More than just a workplace, IBEX has developed into a force for good with various initiatives to support local communities. Here are some of our feature stories in our IVEX community around the world today. This is next at IVEX Feature Stories. First in this segment, we're bringing to you an exclusive interview with Jason Bo. He's the site director of the newly relaunched IVEX Pittsburgh in the US. Sharing with us what's next in IVEX Pittsburgh, let's watch this interview by Nicole Conley. This is Nicole Conley, Regional Manager of Employee Engagement U.S. Hey everybody, Jason Vaught, Site Director, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, formally welcoming all of you to our new location. All right, Jason, so tell us a little bit about new Pittsburgh site. We are incredibly excited about what we're doing here right now. Everything is new and shiny and growing. It's such a rapid pace that it's crazy, but crazy is how we like it. We've been able to work with a lot of local teams in Pittsburgh on really unique concept furniture. On top of that, we've got very cool art and wall graphics going up to really highlight Pittsburgh itself. Very excited to see how it all ends up when we're all said and done. What do you think is unique about this site compared to the other sites in the US. So this site has 360 degree windows from all of our floors. So you can actually look out over the rolling hills of Pennsylvania here. It does not feel like a call center. It does not feel traditional or old school. And on top of that, with the bright and vibrant color schemes, Ibex Red, as you can see behind me, is ever apparent and the branding for our amazing clients is going up as we speak. Tell us what makes Ibex Pittsburgh employees so special. The best. 
hands down. It's not even a question. It's a matter of passion. Our clients are young. That brings on challenges of its own. And this team has been so adaptable and so eager for more that I think other people need to start modeling after some of the individuals we have here in Pittsburgh just by their tenacity alone. Do you consider it a rebirth or an entirely new adventure for the team? I'm going to have to go with entirely new adventure. If the theme of new hasn't come across yet, I will make it apparent now. New site, new clients, new next steps even. And that only leads with new opportunity coming out of this pandemic as we are putting the past few years and the trials and tribulations of that behind us, looking forward to what's next. Everything is about the future here right now. So let's talk about next steps. Everything is new, right? <laughs> new, 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 we, new. Yeah. new, new. But what's next after all the new? More. Once the new is out and we've grown and we've scaled, we have opportunities here in Pittsburgh to continue to grow. It's an emerging tech sector market at the moment. Pittsburgh's known for the steel city, but what people don't know is all of these new tech companies moving to Pittsburgh and contributing to the local economy and building Pittsburgh up again out of what it was. So at this point right now, we, we have the opportunity for more. In my introduction to every new employee that joins the IBEX family here in Pittsburgh, I issue a challenge and it's very simple. It starts with the statement, I am my brother and sister's keeper. From there, if you see somebody struggling, if you see somebody in need, if you have a question, reach out. We are here to help you. We only succeed if we help each other. We only succeed if we can look each other honestly in the eye, say, I am here to support you and help you through whatever you may be going. We have a duty to ourselves to lift everyone up around daily. That includes keeping our facility clean. That includes assisting people through issues they may be going through. That includes picking up trash if you see it around the community and all of the other activities we're hoping to be a part of. That is my challenge to everyone who wants to be a part of the IBEX family in Pittsburgh. And that's come into work today and do a little bit better than you did yesterday and get ready to do a little bit better tomorrow and make sure that you are always keeping a servant leader mindset and helping out. To kick things off, Ibex Nicaragua reached a record high milestone in social media, as one of its TikTok videos reached over 2.0 million views and over 18,000 followers. The video was a 12-second comedy skit about how agents tend to rush from the office on the dot when the clock strikes five, leaving the team leader perplexed. Here's the clip. The social media team behind it was led by Marvin Salazar, who runs engagement activities in Ibex Nicaragua. Aside from this clip, the team has uploaded several TikTok videos that have gone viral, sparking conversation, interest, and activities for Ibex Nicaragua branding and recruitment. In this age of social media, it's a great achievement to reach viral and trending status to the millions. Congratulations, Marvin Salazar and the rest of the Ibex Nicaragua team. Wow, great job in getting us trending in Nicaragua. This next story features our team's ability to reach out to our people and give back to the local community. On September 24, IBEX Global partnered with Gagman Tagbilara, a herbal organization, in helping 100 Three Cycles drivers in Tagbilara City. Three Cycles are makeshift motorcycles with a side carriage that functions as a cheap transportation method in Bohol in many parts of the Philippines. Guma Takbilana leader and Takbilana's first lady, Jane Jap, expressed their sincere gratitude to IBEX Global site director, Ken Bagolor, for the team's continued support to their program. Family groceries and hygiene kits were handed out to 103 cycle drivers. IBEX reassures its objective of being a strong supporter to the local community. Kudos to the IBEX team in Bohol for helping out. I actually take some of these tricycles to work and I know a little goes a long way when it comes to helping people. Speaking of helping people, our next story features our team's commitment in working together with the BPO industry for healthier and safer COVID free work. With a target to reach 70% COVID-19 herd immunity through vaccinated employees, IBEX partnered with local government unit through the BPO Association of Devo in facilitating a special vaccination program for a Devo BPO change that aims to inoculate 2,000 BPO employees across the city. 
over 500 average employees and 82 outsourced personnel were able to complete two dozens of the COVID-19 vaccine. The event was held at NCCC Mall, Wuhangan District, Dewa City from July to September on scheduled dates. You really see that in spite from being different companies, we really can pull together and cooperate for the common good of the BPO industry. Great job, Ibex Neveo. The same can be said about Ibex Jamaica after their successful vaccination lease session this September. They had it in their parking lot, in their Portmore Pines and Waterfront location. Campus employees can also participate as it is only minutes away from their former site. Like before, eligible employees will enter into their year-end car raffle. Meanwhile, in the near shore neighbor in Nicaragua, we're doing a similar kind of cooperation where we're targeting for another win. Yeah, that's correct. Hoping to continue our winning streak for being a great place to work, the team in Ibex Nicaragua kick off a new survey to ensure that we continue our legacy. The Great Place to Work survey was launched from September 20th to September 24th. Should we win once again, this will be the third Great Place to Work award for Ibex Nicaragua. All agents and support staff took their part by filling up the survey, sharing the motivation of winning once again. Good luck team in Nicaragua. Let's get that well-deserved third win. Yes, good luck team Nicaragua. Speaking of luck, it has a team that has lots of it. Capping the segment with the fun sports news, Ibex Pakistan's cricket team, the Ibex Knights, won a thriller by five runs. Congratulations to our awesome players for winning the cup. Check out this clip of the game. Wow, what a win. Congratulations, Ibex Knights in Pakistan. What a great way to wrap up this episode. Before we go, we want to invite you to share your stories with us by emailing us at next at ibex.co. You can check out this and more episodes on our Next at Ibex playlist in the official Ibex YouTube channel and in your respective Ibex sites social media platform. Don't forget to like and share this video so we can continue to share the good news about the ins and outs of the community of Ibex. That's all the time we have. Join us next time for another episode of Next at Ibex. This is your anchor, Jimena Mora. And this is Komal Shakir. Thank you so much for being part of this episode of Next Head Goodbye.